Well, hello, good people. Mark Holmes here. And as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody's having a great, great holiday weekend. And please remember what this is all about. This weekend is about all of those fallen soldiers that made the ultimate sacrifice for all of us. And if you see a veteran, tell them thank you. So step away, get, get, get your pie hole away from one of them burgers and hot dogs and stuff, and remember what this is all about. And so for the last couple of days, I've been doing some film breakdown, something I normally don't do a whole lot of, so bear with me. But I've been focusing in on the defensive line, which is something that's near and dear to me being a former nose guard and understanding what it takes. That's where the real battles happen. And so far, I've done Navelle Gallimore uh, two days ago. Yesterday, I did Osa uh, and Digazua. And, you know, looking at Navelle Gallimore, both of those two guys are a lock to make, the ro- to make the roster, believe me, and probably will be your starting interior defensive line. Um, and Digazua is a little bit small for defensive tackle. He's really kind of a tweener uh, between defensive end and tackle you know he's about 280 pounds he may have put on some more weight this offseason but because of his hands he is so good being a former wrestler and he is going to make a difference and of course Navelle Gallimore the Canadian bulldozer who can just bull rush right over you that's a great interior defensive line this is before we even get to John Ridgeway but I wanted to go ahead and throw in here Sam Williams Um, because I was talking about how Osa and Sam Williams will work well together. And if you remember Jerry Jones before the draft saying, (laughs) you know, I want to get me another Micah Parsons. Well, I got to tell you, he is a lot like Micah Parsons, except a little bit bigger and maybe even a little bit faster. And, And looking at him, you have to say he is a... He is a super freak. It is amazing. The more you watch him, the more you realize this brother can move. So we're going to have a few clips here, and I'm going to talk about a few of the things that I really like seeing from him. Um, one, he's fast. That boy is fast. He runs a four four six forty. Second, he's got great hands as far as creating separation. Third, he can play left or right side. He can play almost anywhere in there. So Dan Quinn will be able to mix this situation up and be able to put them all different places and get people different looks. Um, fourth, he's relentless, and he is great at getting to the quarterback. Five, he never loses sight of the quarterback. You don't lose him in traffic. He ends up seeing the guy, recognizing it, getting separation, and then hunting and seeking like a, you know, uh, like a missile. He's going to blow it up. So let's get to these clips here. And I hope you guys tune in. I'm actually doing this before my live stream that we're going to be doing. If you are a channel member, um, you could join us on the call because the link will be in the um, community tab. All right. So let's look at number seven. Number seven right over in here. And watch how he gets up here with the double team. Because he's going to be double teamed on here. He's going to be able to hold the line, recognize, and then move. Watch him. Okay. Boom. Double teamed. Holds the line. Does not get pushed off the line of scrimmage because he's at the point of attack. Did you see that? He was able to stand up. Look at this. He's got the guard and the tackle both trying to drive him out of the way. Now, the only thing I would say I would like to see him doing more is when he was stopped, when he first got that contact, he just stopped his feet and basically planted. You want to be able to keep your feet driving and going through that. Now, I ain't complaining. Brother is strong enough to stand up a guard and a tackle at the point of attack and blow up the play. And see, this is something that the Dallas Cowboys have not had in a long time is a guy who can take on a double team and hold the line. When you see that line of scrimmage, he's staying right there. His shoulders are square right there. He is physically got a hand on both of these offensive linemen and says, I am not going anywhere. It, and, and makes the tackle. You, you just love seeing that. Now, here on this one, you're going to see him 
do a swim move. Okay, and he is fantastic when he's making his move by swim move. That's where you're going over top. Okay, now the problem with being uh, doing swim, and you never want to swim if you are an interior defensive lineman like a nose because you get caught in that and get hit with the double team, you're blown out of the hole. But he'll swim to get separation, to get his arm and shoulder past the offensive lineman, and then he's going to start figuring out where is the quarterback. I need to go ahead and go. Let's watch it some more. Boom. See that? Okay, there he is. Boom. I'm going to go get him. I got the speed to trip him up. Let's go back on that one a little bit here. Okay, and you'll see what I'm talking about here. See, you see the arm go up? Boom. Recognize where the quarterback is. I'm getting on my horse. I'm going out and grabbing him. Boom. This one, he's coming on the opposite side. Look at the speed. Look at that. He has destroyed the offensive tackle. The offensive tackle, when you're here like this, you've lost the battle. And now he can dip his shoulder and end up getting that, getting the mud flaps dirty. The mud flaps are going to start kicking up that soil, and he's going to get in there to that quarterback. Boom. Look at that. Boom. I'm already around and got held. And here we go. Boom. I got him. Co- causes the fumble. Let's back that. that. That's beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that first step. Boom. Look at that stance. You see him coming out of there? He looks like, look at it. Do you see that? He looks like a track star. Look at that. Boom. I, I am sprinting out of that hole. Boom. I am so fast that that tackle's got no chance. No chance in hell to stop him. And then bend around the edge and chase him down. Boom. Get your hands on it. Swat the ball away. Beautiful. Beautiful. And then gets the football as a trophy. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. On to the next one. Now, this is going to be more of a bull. Look, this is a bull rush. He's bull rushing against a double team. Okay, and bull rush means we're not making any moves. We're not trying to do a jab, step, and rip or anything like that. We're not doing an X stunt. You know, we're not swimming. We are just going to hit the guy and just try and put him on skates and take him upfield. And you can see him right here. Look at this. He's got two guys. You want to split this double team and keep on going. Let me back that up. Back it up. Back it up. Back it up. Sorry, wrong guy. He's on the outside. Sorry, this is a speed rush. I was looking at his his teammate right here doing the bull rush. The speed rush, forgive me. Okay, I make mistakes, okay? He's so fast, he's like a blur. This is actually just a speed rush again. And he's able to dip that shoulder and basically get the mud flats going and get inside. Look at that. Boom. He's being held again. Being held again. He gets on his high horse and he's coming around. He's not giving up on the play. And boom, eventually glory glory you love that you love that watch it again boom this is the one i was thinking about this is him this is the one before i was thinking that it was him but you see him taking on the double team here okay i got my i got my clips out of order see him taking on the double team he's still keeping his eyes on the quarterback okay he's still getting past them he's going to use his speed and his strength in his hands to get separation He's gotten past the first guy, second guy, boom. I'm going to get rid of him now, and then I'm going to go get my quarterback and get my glory, boom, and cause the fumble. Beautiful. This guy, again, is a... Again, look at that. Around the edge. Gets hit by the back and the tackle. Still gets on his horse, and keeps tracking the guy down. Unbelievable skills. Unbelievable. Look at this. Boom. Okay. I, I'm not going to let you. are not getting away, buddy. When he gets you, you get got. Now watch him out here from the outside. He's out here. Um, this is kind of a, a missed assignment. And then the back comes up. The back's coming over from here trying to get him. He's got no chance. No chance. Look at that. Boom. Come here. Come here. Look at the hand strength. Come here. You're not going anywhere. Love it. Love it. Because he's a. Look at that. Boom. Still. Just keeps going. 
never gives up on a play, never half step, is always trying to get to that quarterback. Twelve and a half sacks, guys. He could be. He could be. Look at that. The Micah Parsons, too. And this is where we have the towers of power between him and Micah Parsons. Could you imagine if you're a quarterback and you have Sam Williams and and you take Micah Parsons and cheat him on the outside of that? You know that's your ass. You know that's your ass. That's your ass. That brother is good. Look at this. That speed, look at that. That offensive tackle has no chance with him. And he can still spin the mud flaps and come back around and get you. So what we're looking at here with him is a unique, a unique blend of speed, strength, size, hands ability, and tenacity. And I know Dan Quinn. I can see why Dan Quinn loves him. I can see exactly why the Cowboys wanted to have this brother in the fold. Because that boy is good. And with that being said, I'm going to finish getting set up for our live stream coming up in about 30 minutes. I hope you guys enjoy this. If you enjoy it, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and things. And leave a comment and tell me, you know, if there's somebody you want to see more of or uh, and so on. And we'll get taken care of you guys. And with that being said, you know how I roll. I don't often watch Eagle channels, but when I do, I watch Philly 500 so I can hide. second round are you kidding me I, I oh, what do you just trade Carson then are you kidding me you just took over a quarterback in the second round this team is so good that they don't need to take I, I, they don't need anything else right they're so good they don't this has to be